Let us say we abide in the word of God. And the word of God abides in us. We produce good fruit for the kingdom of God. The love of God the Father, the fellowship of the Holy Spirit, and the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with us now and forever. In Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. So today we are going to to share the word of God from the from the book of John. Yes. From the book of John. Hallelujah. From the book of John. From the book of John. Hallelujah. 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 Say, I need Jesus. Say, Lord Jesus Christ. I need you. Lord Jesus Christ. I need you. Hallelujah. The message is going to be short. Hallelujah. But it will empower us. I believe it's from the Spirit of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We will go to the book of John chapter number 15. Hallelujah. Verse 1. John chapter number 15. We will read many verses from the book of John. Hallelujah. To those that are writing titles, we may title this message as Why I Need Jesus. Hallelujah. Look at your neighbor and say, Why do I need Jesus? Hallelujah. Why we need Jesus or why I need Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Because if you don't know why you need something, you will not desire it. Amen. You can only desire something which you know. Hallelujah. You cannot desire something which you don't know. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So it's very important for us to, to know Jesus Christ. And the minute we know him, it's the reason why we will know why we need him. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Why we need Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. 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 So we have to realize that Jesus Christ, because what you need, Jesus Christ, the first point that you have to realize that Jesus Christ is not a product. Hallelujah. He is not a product that you can desire and you go and purchase and you own it. He is unlike a product. Because a product, you can go Emma Crosser, and then you remove your money, and then you can have it. Hallelujah. But unlike Jesus Christ, he is a person. Hallelujah. He is a person. So we'll discover why we need Jesus Christ by, by exploring from the word of God who Jesus Christ is. Amen. Look at your neck and say, who is Jesus? To you. Hallelujah. So the first point is written there in the verse that we have opened in John chapter number 15. I will read it. Verse 1. I am the true vine, and my father is the husbandman. Every branch in me that beareth not fruit, he taketh away. And every branch that beareth fruit, he purgeth it, that it may bring forth fruit. Now you are clean through the word which I have spoken unto you. Abide in me, and I in you. As the branch cannot bear fruit of itself, except it abide in the vine, no more can you, except you abide in me. Verse 5. I am the vine, you are the branches. He that abideth in me, and I in him, the same bringeth forth much fruit. For without me, you can do nothing. Hallelujah. Jesus Christ likens himself to a vine. Hallelujah. So, we know that uh, our first point is that Jesus Christ is the true vine. He is the vine. Hallelujah. The vine is a tree which bears what? Grapes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And he likens us as branches. So the reason why we need Jesus Christ is the same reason why branches need trunks. Hallelujah. Because they get everything from the, from the trunk. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. A branch sucks its sap, its nourishment from the trunk. Hallelujah. 
And Jesus Christ says we cannot be fruitful unless we abide in him. So we need Jesus Christ to be fruitful. Hallelujah. Your fruitfulness is in Jesus Christ. Our fruitfulness is in Jesus Christ as we abide in him. Hallelujah. And in verse 5 he says, without me you can do nothing. Hallelujah. Without Jesus Christ we can do nothing. Hallelujah. If you are doing anything without Jesus Christ, when heaven is recording, they will be recording nothing. Hallelujah. Anything that you will be doing, even though by the standards of the world or by the standards of human beings, it appears to be something. But in heaven, it is recorded as nothing. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So as we abide in Jesus Christ, as we know Jesus Christ as the true vine, we, be we begin to be fruitful in every aspect of our lives. We begin to be fruitful in our businesses, in our careers, in every aspect of our lives that we connect to Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Because you can connect a certain aspect of your life to Jesus Christ, it becomes fruitful, but you can refuse with another aspect of your life. And that, and that aspect of your life will dry up. Hallelujah. And it will be good to be fired. Jesus Christ says it will be bent. Hallelujah. 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 So your business may burn if you do not connect it to Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. How do we connect things to Jesus Christ? We connect them by his word. Hallelujah. By his word. Hallelujah. By obedience, by abiding, the, by abiding in his word. Hallelujah. For example, your business, you connect it to Jesus Christ by 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 following the principles of business according to Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. By removing tithes from your business, you will be connecting it to Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. By feeding the poor, you will be connecting your business to, to Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Connecting your heart to Jesus Christ, your emotions to Jesus Christ, will not mean that your business is automatically connected to, to Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Every aspect is to be connected to Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. 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 Say without Jesus Christ, I can do nothing. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Raise your, your, your left hand. Hallelujah. And say I abide in the word. And the word of God abides in me. I produce good fruits for the kingdom of God. Hallelujah. Let us clap hands for God. So that is the first point. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So our second point, we'll find it in John chapter 14, verse 6. And these points are near. They are all in the book of John. Hallelujah. John chapter 14, verse 6. Who is Jesus Christ? I'll start from verse 5. Thomas said unto him, Lord, we know not where thou goest. And how can we go? How can we know the way? Jesus said unto him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. Hallelujah. So the, sec the next point is that Jesus Christ is the way, the truth, and the life. Hallelujah. Jesus Christ is the only way to heaven. Maybe you desire to go to heaven. There is no other way but Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Jesus Christ is the way to heaven. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And the second, and another point, he says, I am the way and I am the truth. Hallelujah. If you want truth in your life, if you want genuine truth in your life, you need Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. 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 Because fake people may come or lying people may come or lying spirits may come. Hallelujah. But if you don't have the truth in you, you will not be able to discern them. Hallelujah. But when you have Jesus Christ who is the truth, you begin to know the truth. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It, it won't be a difficult thing for you to identify truth because you have the truth in you who is Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. You will not base your decisions or your ability to discern truth on your mind. Hallelujah. On your way to analyze things. Hallelujah but on the truth who is Jesus Christ in you. 
That is the reason why we need Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The reason why people continue being deceived. Uh, maybe a politician comes and they speak and they cannot discern that the person is lying. And they go and vote for that person in a wrong manner. It's because they don't have the truth in themselves. Hallelujah. They don't have Jesus Christ who is the truth. Hallelujah. Or they don't listen to the truth in them. Hallelujah. That is why the whole world, people are easily deceived. Hallelujah. If anyone can, can, can articulate words in a good manner, they believe that person. Hallelujah. They easily believe things hallelujah, which are lies. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That is how people, most of us, we are deceived. But the reason why Jesus Christ is there is because he is the truth. Hallelujah. And this morning he wants us to, to, to abide in him. Hallelujah. He wants to manifest himself to us. Hallelujah. So that we begin to know the truth. Hallelujah. Because the word says that you shall know the truth and the truth shall set you free. Hallelujah. Jesus Christ is the truth. Hallelujah. The day we will become truly free. The day you will become truly free is the day when you shall know Jesus Christ. It is the day when you shall encounter Jesus Christ in a greater measure. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Say, Lord Jesus Christ, reveal yourself to me. Hallelujah. Let us continue. Let us go to John chapter 11, verse 25 to 26. I am the resurrection and the life. John chapter 11, verse 25 to 26. I am the resurrection and the life. He that believeth in me, though he were dead, yet shall he live. For whosoever liveth and believeth in me shall never die. Believest thou this. Hallelujah. 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 Jesus Christ is the resurrection and the life. Hallelujah. He is the only one who can resurrect dead things. Amen. If there is anything that is dead this morning in your life, you need Jesus Christ because he is the only one who can bring it back to life. Hallelujah. If there are things that are alive in your life, Jesus Christ is the one who can sustain them to continue living. Hallelujah. If it's your business, if it's your, your career, if it's your marriage, Jesus Christ is the one who can bring it back to life. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Because things die. Say things die. It's because of sin. Hallelujah. After Adam and Eve sinned in the garden of Eden, God said you shall surely die. Hallelujah. So the, 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 the process of death set in during that time. Hallelujah. So anything that you try to build, there is a force that is calling it to die. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So the reason why you need Jesus Christ is so that those things do not die because he is the one who can sustain it from, from not dying. Hallelujah. Jesus Christ is the only one who can sustain your career from not dying. Hallelujah. He is the one who can sustain your marriage from not collapsing. Hallelujah. If it has collapsed, he is the only one who can resurrect it. Hallelujah. That is why he was saying to Martha in this verse, I am the resurrection and the life. He that believeth in me, though he were dead, yet he shall live. Hallelujah. Even though your business may be dead, yet it shall live if Jesus Christ is present. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And this morning you will be present to resurrect every situation in your life. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Because he is the resurrection and the life. Amen. Amen. That is why we need Jesus Christ. He says, I am the resurrection and I am the life. Hallelujah. Say, thank you, Jesus, thank you, Jesus. for resurrecting me. Thank you, Jesus, thank you. for resurrecting my spiritual life. Say, thank you, Jesus, thank you. for resurrecting my career. Say, thank you, Jesus, thank you. for resurrecting my life. Say, thank you, Jesus, thank you. for resurrecting my finances. Let us clap hands for God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The next point, hallelujah. The sermon is very short, I told you. We are about to conclude. The fourth point, John chapter 10, verse 11. John chapter 10, verse 11. I am the good shepherd, and the good shepherd giveth his life for the sheep. Hallelujah. 
That's the fourth point. I will mix it with the fifth point. John chapter 10 verse 9. Just near there. I am the door. By me, if any man enter in, he shall be saved and shall go in and out and find pasture. Hallelujah. Jesus Christ says he, he is the good shepherd. Hallelujah. Say, Jesus, you are my good shepherd. Hallelujah. If Jesus Christ is a shepherd, it means you are a sheep. Hallelujah. And a sheep is led to where there are pastures. A sheep does not look for pastures on its own. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Jesus Christ, you need him so that he leads you to where there are green pastures. Say green pastures. green pastures. Hallelujah. Not only green pastures, but green and safe pastures. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You need safe pastures because some pastures, they are green, but they are not safe. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You need safe and green pastures. And it is only Christ Jesus who can lead you there. Hallelujah. Say, oh, good shepherd. Lead me to green pastures. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Psalm 23 verse 1 says, The Lord Jesus Christ is my shepherd and I shall not want. Hallelujah. When Jesus Christ, when you encounter Jesus Christ and he becomes your, your shepherd, he begins to lead you to green pastures. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Because you don't know the pastures that you want. Hallelujah. 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 And he knows where the green pastures are. Hallelujah. Some pastures may appear green when you are far, but when you draw closer, you realize that they are not green. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Or oh, it's artificial turf. Hallelujah. Because green, you can make carpet which is green. And then when you get there, you realize it's only rubber. Hallelujah. There's nothing to eat. Hallelujah. But with Jesus Christ, you'll find safe pastures. You'll find green pastures. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So that is the a, a reason why we need Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. He is the only good shepherd. Hallelujah. In verse 12, he says, but he that is a hireling and not the shepherd. Hallelujah. In verse 8, I will say, all that ever came before me are thieves and robbers. Hallelujah. Say thieves. thieves. Say robbers. In this life, they are thieves and they are robbers. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And if Jesus Christ is not your, your shepherd, your good shepherd, ropers will come and shepherd your life. Hallelujah. Thieves will come and shepherd your life. Hallelujah. These thieves, these filthy spirits, these demons, they will come and lead your life. Hallelujah. They will speak suggestions in your mind and you will carry them out trying to look for green pastures. Hallelujah. But Jesus Christ will lead you this morning. Hallelujah. And he says, I am the door. Hallelujah. Jesus Christ is the door of salvation. If you want Jesus Christ, if you want to be saved from your sins, if you want to be saved from your iniquities, hallelujah, you need Jesus Christ. Stingu Jesu Christu Gupela, hallelujah. Because he is the door, hallelujah, to salvation. You don't need to pay anyone for, for you to be saved from your sins. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Because ropers and thieves may come to you and say, because of a sin that you committed, you need maybe to pay $300. Hallelujah. And you will pay it thinking that you are, you are being forgiven of your sins. But these are thieves and they are ropers. Hallelujah. But the good shepherd, Jesus Christ, says he's the only one who lays his life for the sheep. Hallelujah. No one lays his life for you. Hallelujah. But Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Say thank you, Jesus, for laying your life for me. Hallelujah. Point number six. John chapter 8, verse 12. John chapter 8, verse 12. Then spake Jesus again unto them, saying, I am the light of the world. He that followeth me shall not walk in darkness, but shall have the light of life. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Jesus Christ is the light of the world. Hallelujah. Because the world lies in darkness, there is so much darkness in the world. Hallelujah. That is why we need Jesus Christ. He is the only one who can shine 
shine our path where we can walk. Hallelujah. We, because we don't know where to walk. Because there is darkness everywhere. Amen. This world, there is deep darkness everywhere. So for you to find your way, as you walk in the way to Jesus, as you walk on the way to heaven, you need light. Hallelujah. And that light is Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Say, Jesus Christ, may you shine in my life. Hallelujah. As you have Jesus Christ, you need him to, to chase away darkness because the purpose of light is to chase away darkness. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. As you receive Jesus in your life, he begins to chase away the darkness in you, the darkness in your heart, the darkness in your home, the darkness in your family. Hallelujah. 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 So that is why you need Jesus Christ, so that you are totally delivered, so you are totally set free from darkness. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Jesus Christ is the one who is light in our life. Say thank you, Jesus, thank you, Jesus. that you are light in my life. In my life. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Because there are many things that desire to be light in our lives. Hallelujah. Even Satan himself desires to be light in your life. That is why in the, in the book of 2 Corinthians chapter 11, verse 14, the Bible says, Satan masquerades as an angel of light. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He moves around as an angel of light. He pretends to be light. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So when you have Jesus Christ, you self cut yourself from, from being led by Satan, thinking that it's Jesus Christ, thinking that it's an angel of light. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It's because Satan will come and say, Hallelujah. He's on prophets and his own apostles. And they try to bring light in your life. But that light will be fake light. Say fake light. Fake light. Hallelujah. Because the only light is Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. And because Jesus Christ is the only light, you and I are also light. Hallelujah. We are also light. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. As we have Jesus Christ, that light of Jesus shines in us and it begins to shine around the people around us. Hallelujah. It begins to shine in our communities. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Say thank you, Jesus, thank you. that you are light in my life. Light. Thank you, Jesus, thank you. that you are light, light in my career. Thank you, thank you Jesus, thank you. that you are light in the work of my hands. Hallelujah. It's because Jesus Christ is the one who is supposed to lead your life. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Say thank you, Jesus. That you are light in my life. Hallelujah. Let us go to the seventh point. Hallelujah. Who Jesus Christ is. We will find it in John chapter 6 verse 35. John chapter 6 verse 35. I will start from verse 34. Then they said unto him, Lord, evermore give us this bread. And Jesus said unto them, I am the bread of life. He, he that cometh unto me shall never hunger, and he that believeth on me shall never thirst. Hallelujah. Then I also read verse 48. I am the bread of life. Hallelujah. Jesus Christ is the bread of life. Amen. This is my last point as I conclude. Hallelujah. Jesus Christ is the bread of life. Hallelujah. The greatest, the greatest need of a man is hunger. Hallelujah. The greatest thing that a man feels is hunger. Hallelujah. Because all your efforts, everything that you are trying to do, you are trying to fulfill yourself. Hallelujah. 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 As you see prostitutes doing prostitution or a person abusing alcohol, what they are trying to do is to feel a hunger. Say hunger. Hallelujah. Everyone on earth is, is hungry. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That is, that is why it's easy to deceive people because people are hungry. Hallelujah. If you are hungry, it's easy for me to deceive all of you. Hallelujah. I can only promise you to satisfy your hunger. Hallelujah. And you'll just follow me. Hallelujah. And that's how Satan is primarily operating on earth. Hallelujah. He promises you that, no, just have this pint of cider. Hallelujah. You, you will feel good. Hallelujah. 
And uh, you just save it one day, the next day you want it, you are, no, you are still hungry for it. You, next day it's two pints, the next day three pints, but you are still not satisfied. Hallelujah. This cycle continues until you die. Hallelujah. It's because you are hungry. Say hungry. Man is suffering from hunger and thirst. Hallelujah. Say hunger and thirst. Hallelujah. That is why it's necessary to preach the gospel. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That is why it's necessary for us to, to preach this word of God. Hallelujah. It's because man is hungry. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. These people that were, were trying to coerce Jesus Christ to perform a miracle of bread, they were people who were hungry. They had received the miracle of the multiplication of bread the previous day. And then this next day they were following Jesus Christ because they wanted more bread. Jesus Christ says to them, I know you have not come because you saw a miracle, but you come here because yesterday you ate bread and you were filled. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Jesus Christ knew that they were not coming for him, the bread of life. Hallelujah. He knew that even if he made that bread and gave them, they will still be hungry. Hallelujah. Because they had to eat him. Say, eat Jesus. Because Jesus is the bread of life. Hallelujah. He is the bread of life. Hallelujah. They said to him in verse 31. It's in verse 34, sorry. They said unto him, Lord, evermore give us this bread. Hallelujah. Lord, evermore give us this bread. Let us pray that prayer. Say, Lord, forevermore give us this bread. Jesus Christ said, I am the bread of life. He that cometh to me shall never hunger. Hallelujah. When you come to Jesus, the reason why we need Jesus Christ is so that we are fulfilled in our lives. True fulfillment in life only comes from Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. 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 You may try many things to make your life to be fulfilled in your life, to satisfy your life, but they will not work. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You will be like Adam and Eve who tried to clothe their nakedness with with leaves, hallelujah. With the leaves, because leaves, they cannot close any nakedness, hallelujah. But they tried it because hallelujah, hallelujah. They, they tried using leaves. So anything that you are trying to use to satisfy your life is like using leaves to clothe yourself, hallelujah. But the only one who can satisfy your life, who can clothe your life, it is Jesus Christ, hallelujah. And as you are in Jesus Christ, hallelujah, all these other things, they begin to follow. Hallelujah. They begin to manifest in your life. Hallelujah. They become a bonus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Because Matthew 6, verse 33 says, Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these other things shall be added unto you. Hallelujah. The problem is that you want the addition first. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It's like someone going to a shop and saying, I want him basela. Hallelujah. Then give us an ten. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We don't do that with Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. The, the advantage with Jesus Christ is that he was, he did not need human support. Hallelujah. He told them this truth and most of them left him. Hallelujah. They said, ah, he no longer wants with his bread. And then they went. Hallelujah. And Jesus Christ wasn't offended that they went. He even asked the remaining ones that, why are you still remaining? Why not join them? Hallelujah. But they say it, you have the words of life. Hallelujah. 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 When you follow Jesus Christ, when, when we encounter this Jesus Christ, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Our lives become fulfilled. Hallelujah. The hunger is removed. And in, as I finish the verse, he says in verse 35, And he that believeth on me, shall never test. Hallelujah. So verse 35 is showing us two things. That when we, we come to the Lord, we shall never hunger. And when we believe on him, we shall never test. Hallelujah. Maybe if you are thirsty this morning for God, you are thirsty maybe in your life. Hallelujah. Jesus Christ is present to satisfy that test. Hallelujah. The problem is that you think you are thirsty for something else. Because you currently you don't have money, you think you are thirsty for money. Hallelujah. 
It is not a test for man. It is a test for God. It is a test for Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. What you really are hungry for is Jesus Christ. Because men fail. And when men fail, his ability to discern things beca beca became, became complicated. Hallelujah. He lost his ability to correctly discern things. Hallelujah. So when he feels a certain hunger, he quickly misinterprets it as a hunger for, for carnal things. Hallelujah. Why list it a hunger for Jesus Christ? Hallelujah. 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 That thing that you think it's last, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Which you think it's a, it's a desire for your flesh, hallelujah. It is actually, you must take that hunger to God, hallelujah. It's a hunger for Jesus Christ. It shows that you are hungry for Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. 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 So the, the, the thing that you must do is you must come to Jesus Christ and you must believe in him. Hallelujah. And we shall never thirst and we shall never hunger. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Say, O oh Lord Jesus Christ, manifest yourself to me. Hallelujah. Let us conclude with John 7, verse 38. John chapter 7, verse 38. I will start from verse 37. In the last day, that great day of the feast, Jesus stood and cried, saying, If any man thirst, let him come unto me and drink. He that believeth on me, as the scripture says, out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water. Verse 39. But this is speck of the Spirit, which they that believe on him should receive. For the Holy Ghost was not yet given, but that Jesus was not yet glorified. Hallelujah. He that believeth on me, as the scripture says, out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water. Hallelujah. Say, I need living water. This, this promise is not just about living water. Hallelujah. But the rivers of living water. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The problem is that when you get thirsty, you just want to go to Jesus and drink and run away. Hallelujah. But what he wants is that he wants you to have that water within you, to, to, to be one without water. Hallelujah. For those rivers of living water to flow in your belly. Hallelujah. Not for you and the water to be separate. Hallelujah. Because Jesus Christ is not a pole. Say Jesus is not a pole. Hallelujah. Because a pole, you go and go choose it and take water and run away and drink. Hallelujah. But what Jesus Christ promised is not a pole. Say Jesus did not promise a pole. He promised the rivers of living water in your belly. Hallelujah. In you. Hallelujah. So you and I, we must be one with the Lord. Hallelujah. With Jesus Christ and let these rivers of the living water flow in us. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Say Jesus Christ. May your rivers flow in my bed this day. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That, that, must, that must be our prayer today. Hallelujah. 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 So what must we do to receive, this, to receive the, the river of life? Hallelujah. Let us conclude with John 6 verse 29. John chapter 6 verse 29. John chapter 6, verse 29. I'll start from verse 28. Then they said unto him, What shall we do? Say, what shall I do? How many people have this question this morning? What shall I do? What shall I do? If you know what to do, don't lift your hand. Hallelujah. What shall I do? That we might work the works of God. Verse 29. Jesus answered and said unto them, This is the work of God that you believe on him whom he hath sent. Hallelujah. That is the work of God. Hallelujah. To believe in Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. And when we encounter Jesus Christ, hallelujah. Hallelujah. When we encounter Jesus Christ, all these things that you think you are hungry for, they will just manifest. Hallelujah. 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 Your faith will begin to have evidence. Hallelujah. The Bible says in the book of Hebrews, uh, faith is the evidence. Hallelujah. 
So you will begin to see evidence of your faith. Hallelujah. In your life. Hallelujah. The evidence, the tangible things, evidence. Hallelujah. Of your faith. Hallelujah. As you glue yourself to Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. 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 Let us clap hands for God. Hallelujah. As I hand over to the man of God. Hallelujah.